Welcome back to another Lavu tutorial where today we are going to take a look at one of Epson's newer printers, the T887. Physically, this printer is set up in the exact same way as other Epson printers. And if you use the Epson's TM utility tool to set a static IP address, you won't notice much of a difference from previous printers. However, if you use the web page to configure a static IP address, or you just need to connect it to Wi-Fi for the wireless version, then you are going to notice a lot of changes. Let's start with connecting it to Wi-Fi. To do this, you will need to download Epson's utility tool on your iPad. It's a free app that's very similar to the desktop version we've used in other videos. We also need to get the printer into simple AP mode, which should happen automatically when you first plug in the wireless adapter. Before we jump into that app, we do need to go into the iPad's Wi-Fi settings and connect it to the Wi-Fi network here. When prompted for a password, enter the printer's serial number. Now we can open up the utility app and start the onboarding process. Tap the printer selection bar at the top of the screen and select the printer you are connected to. Select Change Printer Settings and give it a moment to connect. Once connected, tap on Various Settings, Network, Set, and finally Wi-Fi. Next to SSID, enter the name of your Wi-Fi network. Be sure to include any special characters like apostrophes if they are there. Now tap on Security Type and select WPA slash WPA2 PSK. Then tap Security Settings and enter in your Wi-Fi network's password. Tap Done, Back, then Yes. Now we can keep backing out of these menus until we are prompted to save and send settings to the printers. This final save can take a few minutes. Once the printer has restarted, it will be connected to your Wi-Fi network and you will get a printout containing its IP address. Now let's take a look at setting a static IP address to this printer, which we definitely recommend you do. These steps will be the same whether you are using a wireless version of this printer or connecting it to your network with an Ethernet cable. Using a laptop or iPad, open a web browser and enter the printer's IP address you got from the printout. If you are prompted with a warning page, click on Advanced anyway. If you are using Google Chrome as your web browser, it may prevent you from getting past this page. In that case, just use a different web browser like Safari, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox. Click on Administrator Login in the top right corner and enter the printer's serial number for the password. Once logged in, click on Network at the top of the page and you will be brought to the Basic page. Look for the setting Obtaining IP Address and set this to Manual. Now enter your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Follow the same rules we set on our original Epson printer setup video for the IP address. If you need to find your subnet mask and default gateway, you can look at the wireless settings on one of your iPads. Unlike the IP address, which needs to be different for each printer, your subnet mask and default gateway must be the same. Finally, locate your DNS settings and copy these settings exactly. Click Next at the bottom of the page, and then OK to save and send your changes to the printer. Now all that's left is to create your printer profile in the Labu control panel, which is exactly the same as all other Epson printers. Check the links in the description for other printer videos, or simply go to our YouTube channel. You can also check support.labu.com for the written instructions of this video. If at any point you need help, please reach out to our 24-7 customer support team through call, chat, or email.